Boom! It's Saturday! Saturday! Actually, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Most probably, if you're watching this, it's Sunday. So, there is no... It's Sunday! Sunday! Yeah, anyway, we have a long episode in front of us. It's, it was basically a three hours episode of Collision, if we include Battle of the Belts, which I'm gonna include in this episode. So, let's just jump right into it. The night started with Daniel Bryanson. Did I just say Daniel Bryanson? I meant to say Brian Danielson versus Andrade El Idolo. And I don't know, if I haven't seen Andrade in such a long time that I felt like this was some sort of a return. But anyway, the match was good. I really enjoyed the match. And in the end, Brian Danielson won. I don't know what that leads to. He just came off a loss from the TNT champion Christian Cage. I was wondering if we were gonna see Christian Cage tonight, but we didn't. But we saw another return and I love this guy and the lights went to black and after they turned on the lights, it was Malachi Black. But I have some concerns and I'm gonna share them in the end. After that, we had another match of Sky Blue versus Hollywood Haley, And of course, Sky Blue won. She executed her finisher, but this time her finisher was not executed that perfectly. But anyway, I love Sky Blue. I love is a strong word, but I like her. I like her, definitely. I think she's turning into a heel right now. And you're gonna understand why a little bit later as well. After that, a tag team that I like and adore, the Guns versus the Outrunners. Of course, the Guns won and they, were, they looked good and I had nothing else to add. I don't know if that match leads to something, most probably not, but still, I enjoyed it. After that, we had a street fight. Memphis street fight. Jeff Jarrett versus Eddie Kingston, and I'm not a huge fan of the street fight. You know, I'm not I'm not a huge fan. It, it looks like an over-the-top stipulation that is just for just to make the match more grueling, but it's not I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't enjoy it. Jeff Jarrett won in the end, because that means that we're gonna see Eddie Kingston versus Jay Leto. Probably next week, I don't know when. Yeah, at the end, Jeff Jarrett won because everyone, Jay Leto, Jeff Jarrett, the giant guy, everyone just attacked Eddie Kingston and in the end they, they just pinned him and... Yeah, that's why I don't like Street Fight. It's just no rules, a lot of weapons and it's unnecessary, you know? Action Andrade versus Miro is something that I was not sure if I wanted to see. The match happened because CJ Perry wanted to be a manager of someone and Action Andrade was like, I want you to be my manager. <laughs> and uh, Miro was like, uh, this is not happening. What, what, what is going on here? And basically now they're having a match. I was expecting Miro to squash him, but he didn't. The match was actually very good, but I'm not sure if CJ Perry is continuing her work with Action Andrade. I think she's looking at Andrade the El Idolo right now, which was weird. And uh, please stop. W what is going on there? Please just manage Miro if you're managing anyone. You, you, you have a man, you know? Well, what is going on there? Last but not least, for Collision is the Blackpool Combat Club versus Ricky Starks and Big Bill for the AEW Tag Team Championships. And I'm gonna tell you right now my concern about House of Black, but a minute later. <laughs> the match ended weirdly because the lights went off again and we saw the House of Black this time. And basically they interfered into the match of for the titles and I can't quite understand what is going on. Maybe Malachi Black is trying to have a feud with Brian Danielson and the Blackpool Combat Club is gonna have a feud with the House of Black and the FTR is gonna have the feud against Ricky Starks and Big Bill and at the end of the collision this huge bro happened like 
what is going on? Like, the House of Black was there, FTR was there, Ricky Starks was there, Big Bill was there, Blackpool Combat Club was there, John Moxley returned, and oh, it's a huge mess, and I don't like this. At previous episodes, I, I was saying that I have mixed feelings, but right now, I'm saying to you that I don't like this. I, I just don't. It's useless, it's leading to nothing. We probably understand that we're gonna have, as I said, House of Black versus Blackpool Combat Club and Ricky Starks and Big Bill versus FTR rematch kind of situation, but I don't know, I, I don't like it. At the end of the collision, we had a huge spinning thingy of Claudio Castanoli to Ricky Starks, and yeah, that was it for the collision. And now, the battle for the belts, eight. The first match for Battle of the Belts was John Silver versus Orange Cassidy for the International Championship. And of course, Orange Cassidy retained, even though he was super distracted. I was not satisfied with the finisher, because after all, the match ended after a Superman punch. Maybe this is the Orange Cassidy finisher. I'm not really familiar with Orange Cassidy. I haven't watched a full match of Orange... I have watched a lot of matches of Orange Cassidy, but I'm not quite familiar with what are his finishers but it looked like John Silver just cheated, put him through three different finishers, couldn't pin him, and after that Orange Cassidy just Superman punched him and he got the pin, which was a little bit underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, even though I'm a fan of Orange Cassidy, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe next time it should be something a little bit bigger, at least. After that, we had Tony Nese versus Samoa Joe for the Ring of Honor, TV Championship, and of course, Samoa Joe won, it was a fast match, it was a squash match, if you will, because after that, Samoa Joe got the mic, and he was like, MJF, you're next, I'm coming for you, I don't care what you're saying, I don't care what you're doing, either you're gonna give it to me, or I'm gonna take it, so, yeah, as I said in the last Dynamite review, everyone is going for MJF, and I suspect at this point that the next match after Jay White is gonna be something like Triple Threat or Fatal 4-Way including MJF in and he's gonna retain and with that he's gonna be on his way to become the longest reigning AW champion but I'm not so sure. After that we had a match for the TBS championship Chris Tatlander of course the champion versus Willow Nightingale. If you guys are not familiar Willow Nightingale is related in some sorts to Sky Blue, storyline-wise, I'm not sure for anything else. And Willow lost the match, and after the match, Chris Tatlander tried to handshake Willow, but Sky Blue came out and she was like, no, you're not gonna handshake her. But after all, Willow handshake her, met with the fans and everything, but Sky Blue is having some sort of a problem with Chris Tatlander, which I hope lead to another match where Sky takes the title. I'm not sure, but I kind of want Sky to take the title. It feels like she's not ready for the title, but at this point I want to see her with the title because I'm not sure if Chris is the best person for the title, if you know what I mean. The main event of the Battle of the Belts 8 was Daddy Magic, Cool Hands, Angelo, whatever, Daniel Garcia versus The Acclaimed. And the match was awesome. Basically the whole match, the Acclaim tried to make that huge scissor and Daniel Garcia was trying to dance and no one was letting him dance, but it, he, in the end he danced and because of that he lost. No, it, it, it's not because of that. But somehow I thought that they're gonna win. I don't know why. I don't know why I decided that not established team is gonna take the titles from the Acclaimed well, the Acclaimed are kind of hot right now with that Max Caster angle going on uh, with uh, he's having trouble with the ladies, with MJF, whatever. Yeah, I don't know, I, I complain about nothing. I expected House of Black to appear again for the Trios Championships this time, but yeah, nothing like this happened and uh, it was just a normal ass lost and I was expecting to see at the end Acclaimed and Daniel Garcia do something in the ring, but I guess they did something while the cameras were off or something because I, I think they were trying to do something, but I don't know. That was it for AW Collision. 
plus Battle of the Belts 2 for one episode. And thank you very much. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace. Do you still see me? No, you don't. <laughs>